Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and I'm starting this week off with the hump because my friend here never tells me <laughs> about special <laughs> projects. Every time we do something in Forge, I find out when it's in there. There's a reason I don't tell you. Why is that? Because like now, because you'll make a big thing of it. He wants to talk about the commercials of it. <laughs> That's what he said upstairs, he was like, the commercials. Commercially the commercial. Forged is specialised, yeah? It's not for every client. Two by two carbon is for every client. But Apart you, from someone that likes Forge, yes, yes. You've gone outside the box and actually ordered a car in. Yeah. It's not color. black, it's blue. It's black. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull something like, out, aren't we? Something yeah, special. Something At the end of this, we're yeah. gonna put it to the boat, by the way. We're gonna yeah. put it to the boat. Let's go and have a look inside the booth before it gets painted. Let's go and have a look inside the booth before it gets painted. And I'm guessing it's probably going satin. Yeah? Is it? Why are you going satin? Like, is it? Is it? No, no, no. It's I'll, not going satin, is it? The thing is, yes. I've got a challenge. It's not going yes, satin. it is. Is it? Yeah, with the satin black, satin. Satin black you oh, see six wheels. I have a challenge for you. I know what challenge it's gone at. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, before we do this, quick little montage Forge Carbon. So forged carbon, two by two carbon, satin or gloss. Well, that's yeah. what we need to figure out. I, look, I don't mind. I don't mind the forged carbon. I'm on the forged carbon train. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it, but not satin. First things first. We need to do this fairly sharpish because it's quite warm in it's here. Warm it's warm in here. Like, it's warm in here. Can we get some spray just to see what this will look like? What in gloss? Yeah. I can't get satin spray. You can't get satin spray because <laughs> liquid is wet. Yeah, we can. We can put some degreaser on it if you'd like. I mean, this is literally set up. We to will paint. be back. One second. Is this, is this a constant temperature in here? Is this what this is? This, is cool. this isn't this hot, this is cooling down from the previous one. So it gets up to 60 in here. Yeah. Please don't get it on any. It might sting his eyes. So this is our new forge as so well. Is this our new forge? So what's the difference between this and our old one? This is new and the old one's old. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why we sometimes fall out, can't you? <laughs> That's good. So technically, mm. what is the difference? They use the new material instead of the old material. Oh my God, this is going to be painful. Is, you, two, you two aren't vibing at the moment, right? No, no te it's technically. A few moments later. This looks absolutely fantastic, shiny. It does look really good, it, shiny. Because really I assume good. this is going gloss, is it? Man, this is so this, this is this is why I bought this is why I bought this. Look, it's got a head and it's got a tail. I'm going to challenge you. What we cha what's the challenge? This is the gloss and satin oh, challenge. Oh, I thought it was going to be if the car doesn't sell, I've got to buy it. Oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> That's God. the second part of the challenge. So are these just rubbed down, ready to be lacquered? They've had two coats point. of lacquer already. Oh, so right, then, okay. because there's a lot more so work that goes into going for satin lacquer, because right. once you do it third so or fourth time around. Commercially, it doesn't make sense. Does it doesn't it? make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Is this the whispering part where he can't hear us? Look at it in shiny, look, look, look. It's like, it's like the magic appears. Yeah, it's nice. It is very nice. That's a good spray technique though, like that. Like a mad pile, just like shiny. We're yet to do that, aren't we? The spray <laughs> challenge. We're going to do a spray don't challenge where basically we all... Sprayers out there, what do I look like? <laughs> not, not like <laughs> Is this anyway, that freezer right. crowd thing, is it? Is this anyway, right? right. Okay, right. I'm always tails, by the right. way. Right. What? I'm always tails. Heads, correct. Incorrect. First one. One nil to me. One nil to me. Tails again. <laughs> it's a tail. Look one all. That. One all. Tails again. It's a head. <laughs> yeah! That was too convincing. He knew that was going to be a head. How did I know it was going to be a head? It just felt like that. It felt like you tricked me. How, what do you mean? I didn't, I didn't trick you. Well, you have tricked me because this has to go satin. This is what. It's caught. It's caught on your beard, Lenny. And that's 
<laughs> and that's how much we're going to make once we discount this car because it's got satin full carbon on it. Anyway, guys, what do you think to the carbon? Should it go forward? Should it go satin? Should it go glass? Get in the comments and tell us what you think. For a serious conversation now that Lenny and Simon aren't here. As you can see, we're not going to decide things by flipping a coin. We're going to do things properly so we have a nice satin finish RSQ8 kit as promised. This is make or break for me. Um, it really gives the finish it deserves on Forge, especially our new version of it. Um, we I'm probably going to have a bit of a tussle when they find out, but so what? Um, you just can't argue with it, and hopefully you guys agree. So here we've got it all laid out. It's been through the oven. I've also got to say that testament to our guys that deal with finishing in satin lacquer, it, sometimes you have to go a few times through it because of dirt in the air, etc. We do our very, very best to make sure that we don't work in a dirty booth, we're clean and tidy, but sometimes it's the nature of the beast. Obviously, I'm going to be pointing the finger at, it's uncommercial, this, that, the other. But we build bespoke cars. We do one of ones. We do signature vehicles. This is what I see this being. Hopefully, it sells. Um, so, yeah, let us know what you think, guys, and look forward to seeing it on the built-up car. actually going to sell this one but the directors loved it so much that they just didn't want to get rid of it so it's time for a revamp as you can see here old bonnet off the car thought we'd get rid of this because why not put our XRS bonnet on it full carbon fiber as you can see looks lovely but we've wrapped it to match the vehicle and wrapped the vents to match in with all the other parts of the vehicle getting rid of the OEM extended arches putting our wide track on it because it's got to be done hasn't it um, wheel change, did have WX1s on this, moving over to our WX3s because they look so good on our other support vehicle. Has to be uniform, doesn't it? Um, new branding, you might have remembered we had branding on the side of this originally. We're going to update the logo on that. And then I think next, we should chop the back off it and make it into a pickup truck, what do you reckon? It's funny you should say that, Mike, because in my spare time, I like to have a little bit of a play with mobile Photoshop. Some people say I've got too much time on my hands. Some people say that my phone should be confiscated because I create such horrible, dark monsters. Anyway, I'm gonna show you through them. This is my favorite, right? This is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan pickup. Look at it, it's amazing. But next, we've got the G63 Wave Runner. Right, which is what I like to call it. Jet ski on the back, little wave graphic here. I know what you're thinking. Lenny, I didn't realise you had so much skill. And then for my Australian friends, the RS6 Ute with a quad bike on the back. A little graphic up here. I know, amazing. 
Now this one, I'm actually quite proud of this one. I think this one really works. 110 V8 pickup, uh, two door, utility vehicle, looks fantastic. So anyway, Cullinan's my favorite because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I just need to put 10p in the meter because the lights have gone off. So yeah, Cullinan's my favorite. I just need someone now to drop me one of those off, an RS6, a G63, or a Defender with a big angle grinder so I can, um, I can put this lunacy into reality. Anyway, get in the comments. Let me know which one of my creations is your favorite. Back to Mike. Cool, so following on from this green to this green, this is another 75th edition on the ramp. They're going out really well. These have got another two booked in as well. One real big spec one that's having a full interior done, which is going to be nice. This is coming along nicely. Should be complete by the end of the week, I would have thought. As you can see, calipers are all done and back on, bled up. That's all good to go. Bonnets just sat here waiting to go on. The vents on these look awesome. It takes the body shop absolutely ages to do these and they hate doing them, but they do a great job. So, you know, wheels fine lined out as well. Another job that the body shop don't like, but Still looks great. <laughs> nice green rim. We'll keep you updated on the progress of these two builds as they transpire. And two very special RSQ8 coming through, they'll be nice. Before we go into this, you know what I'm most happy about? It feels like the first day of summer today. It's, it's the first time I've worn a t-shirt. Yeah, this nice. Year. And got Which is pretty on. considering it's May. Yeah. Yeah, it's very This is when I'm, so <laughs> from, from, <laughs> now, <laughs> from now to October, I'm gonna be miserable. I know, you're the opposite to everyone I don't else. like the heat. I'm no good in the heat. We like can tag sunshine. each other with miserability. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy in the summer, you're happy in the winter. So what we got under here then? Let's tune you up and have a look what's oh, under here, shall we? Look at that. I look haven't at that seen for a transition. This yet. I haven't seen this yet, but I've heard the rumour mill. We're not going to decide things by flipping a coin. Rumor there's mill. a rumour mill. Yeah, there's a rumour mill. Oh, I haven't yeah. heard any rumours. We flipped a coin, I won, and he's just basically just. Yeah, gone. but wasn't that? No, he hasn't. <laughs> yes, he has. Yeah. No, he has not. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He has as well! Yeah. Look at his face! Look at his happy little face! He's literally just gone, yeah, I'm doing what I want. Yeah. <laughs> not only is it not two by two, I hear it satin as well. What, what did you want it to be? Um, gloss two, well, my favourite's four by four, but gloss carbon, you wanted it to Look, it's like pulling off a plaster. You might as well get it over and done with to watch his face. Uh, whip. Go on then, whip it off. Ready? Whip ready, ready, ready? Long! So you basically did just oh, do actually, what you wanted to do. Yeah. You know what? Actually, actually, now I'm now I'm looking at it. It does actually look really good. <sighs> I'm still not happy, but it looks really good. <laughs> I don't want to admit it. I don't want to admit it. It, it looks brilliant. <laughs> it looks so this so colour good. isn't ordered very much, is it? This is Navara, 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 Navara blue. blue. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love, why, do, why does everyone want black all the time? Mm. We went over to the used car, the car site yet, the day before yesterday, yeah. and it was literally just black and grey. Like it was like filter. 60 cars in black and grey. So we'll drop this in the middle of it and it'll either stay there forever because it's blue <laughs> or someone will snap it up because it's blue. It's going to be one or the other. Yeah, I, I hate to admit it. Like with it, the wheels as it well, it look looks good, fantastic, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Red calipers, red urban tabs. So the details. All in the details. All in the details. Yeah, that no, looks really cool. So this really is our nice. new forged carbon, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So different spin. One's it's old, not, one's new. Yeah, we've already had that. I wasn't going to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> the previous version was a bit more choppy, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was larger pieces where this, this is a bit more refined. Mm. Yeah. And as always, in satin finish, I think it just gives it a completely different... It looks different... slightly better quality. I'm much Like more substance than the last one. Yeah, yeah, fully agree. Yeah. But yeah, it really stands out, the kit, doesn't it? And even more so on a, on a coloured car. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it just looks... Yeah, it looks nice. OK, Chris. So this begs the question. RS6 or RSQ8? Ah, okay. I know what you choose, I know what you choose. Right, 
so here I am in the RS6. I love these cars. I mean, there's something so cool about a 600 brake horsepower estate car. Supercar power, but you can have five people in here comfortably and a big dog in the back. They're so, so cool. This is a Vorsprung, so it's on shocks and springs, but in comfort mode, it's just so, it's just so laid back. You're just in a big, comfortable cruiser. You put it in sport, and it just turns into an absolute beast. Bit of a rude boy, so my seat is all the way down to the lowest setting. Uh, not too lean back, not like how it was in the 2000s, South End run, you know, like that. Now, I did say that I preferred the RS6 to the RSQ8, but, Looking at that RSQ8 in my mirror, that looks so mean and aggressive on the road. I think I'm having second thoughts. I think I need to have a little go in that RSQ8. Bear with, bear with. Right, so in the RSQ8, not a huge amount of difference in the interior. So yeah, the reason why I'd have the RS6 over the RSQ8 is always because I, I like feeling low down. This feels like you're slightly higher up, but not high enough to feel like you're in an SUV. But having said that, just going around this roundabout, the suspension is so good, it just feels completely flat. So I suppose really it is just down to personal preference. What suits you best, what you prefer the look of. I mean, they both look fantastic. I mean, when I was in the RS6, I was jealous of Brandon being in the RSQ8, and I, now I'm in this, I'm kind of jealous that I'm not in the RS6, so all dad's personal preference. Two, um, to this be, looks fantastic, by the way, doesn't it? Yeah, I've had three of those, and I didn't. I loved it, but I didn't really get on with it. But I've had two of these, and I didn't really get on with that either. Spoil. No, the I man just spoil. I, I just like driving the work van. You do, didn't and you? Like, you really do. It. It's yeah. a cool thing. So, on the subject of these two, I think it's just down to your personal circumstances. Yeah, exactly. It has, yeah. it has to be. In reality. They both fit the same golf clubs in the back. They both fit the same amount of people in the car. Same engine, same gearbox, same almost same power. So I they're think. the same, like then, they're, yeah? Yeah, they're the same. It's just whether you want to be slightly higher. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's literally, it. Yeah. literally, What yeah. do you guys think? What would you pick? What suits your lifestyle better? The RS6, the super fast estate, or the RSQ8, Audi's fast SUV? On that note, we will see these guys next week. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, guys. <laughs>